How was he allowed a party? I think he found a loophole. And a hat. Oh, welcome. It's our baby shower. Hmm. Such speedy organising. Hmm. Gosh, don't you look baffling. Thanks. Beautiful baby shower, Emrys. Congratulations. I was explaining to Catherine earlier that when you have a party, it should be an impromptu, spontaneous outpouring of love and alcohol. But I suppose that's hard to understand for an unfun person. Someone who forces people to do homework at a breakfast. That was fun. We had a Diderot breakfast. Mm. People loved it. I'm sure they did. Bored rehashing it, even for a second. Really. A uh, moustache. I have to tell people the stuff coming out of the fountain is cherry-flavored vodka, not blood. <laughs> I thought we said seven in my apartment. We did. But in the end, I decided it might be a pointless gesture. I'm sorry, but I was under the impression we made some headway this morning. Mm. It seems your people may not be adjusting to your reign as seamlessly as you've made out. Nonsense. They love me. And yet here we are, at your husband's party, where they sip on his vodka and cram in like sardines. You do not make a strong case. That is... Everyone! Everyone! I would like to make a toast. <laughs> yes, as would I. Indeed. The Empress probably has some more reading to assign. <laughs> That's not true. I wanted to thank you all for coming to my party. Hey. This party is very clearly mine. I provided you all with duck riette. Which I own, and have paid our chefs to produce. In God's eyes, I'm still the chosen. God cares for his people, so chose again. <laughs> Let's get fucked up! Yeah. Here's to many more parties like this, because I I am your empress, whom you love and think is very fun. Uh, but not as fun as me, because I'm known for being fun. Indeed, you're not known for much else. Huzzah! Huzzah! Oh, would you do it?